he just serves power and attacks anybody who challenges power. Like, how can, honest, honestly, how can he look in the mirror and say, I'm doing something honorable? Like, how can he live with himself? How can his wife sleep with him? I, do words even have meaning? What does the word marginalized mean? Dylan Mulvaney. Is Dylan Mulvaney on the red carpet at, at these events and, and sponsored by every major, uh, you know, brand marginalized and oppressed? What does that word even mean to be marginalized, right? So we're looking at this and we're like, so wait a minute, they're telling us they have a rule. Facebook now has a rule. The other platforms are, are adopting this rule. And they're trying to make comedians live by the rule. You're not allowed to punch down. That's what they say. You can't punch down. And punching down Dylan means... Mulvaney towers above the rest of us in his power, right? Right, right. But the rule against punching down... You were Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, I can't get anybody censored for making fun of me. So uh, yeah. I, think, I think if you have the will and the power to, to, to silence people who so much as make a joke at your expense, then you have more power than anybody. You're punching up. Exactly. Ibram X. Kendi has way more power than anyone in the county I live in. Right, right. Yeah, so this idea, the punching down, like the number one rule of comedy should be funny, it's to be funny, right? When a, yeah. when a, when a humorist or satirist, uh, a comedian is sitting down to write a joke, they should be thinking to themselves, is this joke funny? Not, am I, am I going to be making fun of someone who supposedly has less power and privilege than me, but can actually get me punished if, if they're offended by my joke? Right. Um, so, and it's such mean, a, but I think it's a matter of reclaiming the language, like Dylan Mulvaney, Rachel Levine, I mean, these are our rulers, right. actually. Right. Yeah, they're, they're the most powerful and privileged people in our culture. And you're not allowed to joke about them. So, and that, and that tells for Michelle you, Obama. And that's what's yeah, yeah. And I mean, this is a, everybody understands this, too. This is a, it's a well known saying that, you know, you can tell who you're, you can tell who rules over you by who you're not allowed to criticize or who you're allowed to joke about. And that's exactly the I don't the think you're even allowed to right say now. that, though, are you? Probably not. Well, I don't think you are. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's hate speech right there. Yeah. But we're not. <laughs> But we're not, we're not There's punching down. Truer. We're not punching down. I think we're punching back. But this is the thing. That this is the, so, so comedy, when they, when they make this rule, you know, well, there's, there's a number of elements to this too. Uh, imagine thinking to yourself when you're making a joke too, like, you know what? I shouldn't joke about those people. They're beneath me. Imagine if that's the mentality that you're in, right? Like that's a condescending mentality. Well, any man to. who's ever lived in a dorm knows that mocking somebody is a sign of fraternal friendship. Right. That's your peer. Right. I had a friend whose birthday was this morning. I mean, I said a, a, a whole barrage of Making insulting of jokes yeah, about his go. age and his sexual potency. <laughs> and the, that's the first thing I do when one of my closest friends gets older. You know, the way I mean? of treating each other equally is joking about each other indiscriminately. So, yes. yeah, I think I think com comedians who and this is this is why so much of comedy is not funny today. It's it's my chief criticism of like late night comedy, which I find unwatchable. I think it's totally but unwatchable. also contemptible. I mean, they're collaborators. They are they are. Um, they just like the fact checkers, they're guardians of the narrative. You know, they how are. How can Jimmy Kimmel live with him? Like Jimmy Kimmel is a talented guy, and I don't, I don't think he's like an evil person or something. But he's made this deal where he just serves power and attacks anybody who challenges power. Like how can, honest, honestly, how can he look in the mirror and say I'm doing something honorable? Like how can he live with himself? How can his wife sleep with him? Well, Seriously. it'd be <laughs> no, I, no, I'm, I mean, it, that. it'd be one thing. It'd be one thing if if his job wasn't to be a comedian and to do that, but his job is to be a comedian. He's supposed to be funny and comedians are supposed to hold people in but positions he's a of power. Pure suck up yeah. To the people in charge. Exactly. He's their Praetorian guard. Yeah. And it's like the self-hatred he must feel because he wasn't always, that's my point. Yeah. I mean, Colbert has always been a hard partisan, right. talented guy, but obviously a part, you know, not, he's not a comedian, but Kimmel was a comedian. Like, how does he, I don't understand. I don't know how he can but sleep. He might he might buy into the narrative to the extent that he thinks it's morally uh, wrong to joke about these these certain topics. But it's not groups. just that he's like pouring hot oil on the peasants from the parapet. Right. Like he's hurting anyone who challenges the king. Right. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's upside down. The, the com comedians should be poking holes in the popular what a narrative, not propping man, it up. Jimmy Kimmel is. Like, truly. No, I mean it. <laughs> you like, said no it, not me. No amount of money is worth what he's doing, in my opinion. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's how they control speech and thought. It's how, it's, if, you, if your worldview is incoherent and impossible to defend rationally, yes. then you have to insulate it from criticism. And what's the most effective kind of criticism there is? I think it's mockery, which exposes foolishness for what it is. 
So it, it makes perfect sense to me. I honestly, I was, I was mistaken about this. It's, it's something I admit I was wrong about is when early on, when we first started getting fact-checked and we first started having these issues with censorship with the Babylon Bee, it was my belief that humor, uh, these were humorless scolds who just didn't think our jokes were funny and they thought they were offensive and they were being hypersensitive. And that's, it's not, that's not the <laughs> no, case. No, it's not. It's, You're going through the stages of realization. The here. stages of realization. I eventually learned yeah. and came to realize that it's not humor. Humor is a vehicle for truth delivery. Exactly. They don't like the fact that the narrative is being challenged in a way that's effective. Yes. And so they have to shut you up. Exactly. And so that's what it's about. It has nothing to do with them being well, humorless they don't have limits, or they don't have And it has nothing to do with being offended. This whole thing, you know, the, the, the hypersensitive, the people getting up in, in comedians' faces or charging their sta the stage to slap them in the face when they make a joke they don't like. The, um, you know, don't bring your speaker to our campus because we need a safe space here and this will offend people. The, it, they're not, it's all fake outrage because they've learned that fake outrage can be used as a tool to bludgeon you into silence and submission. But that's, that's exactly right. If they would censor you, they would kill you, period. Because you don't censor a peer, another citizen, another human being. You censor your slaves. You censor someone you consider less than human. So if censorship doesn't work, they'd indict you. If that doesn't work, they would kill you. I mean, that's just, it's a very obvious continuum. But I would also say, and I wanna ask you this, as the target of people like Brandy Zedrozny, wouldn't you rather be the target of an explicitly fascist regime where it was aggressive rather than passive aggressive, where some guy in a funny mask mustache got up and said, you're going to jail, instead of having someone in fake complex glasses telling you you're endangering trans people? I mean, there is a kind of, the passive aggression is very hard to take. I'd rather neither of them, but, I, well, I don't know. If I have to take my pick, I'll take Twitter jail over real jail any day, but... Um... Well, like, that's where that's going. You don't yeah. censor people yeah. if you consider them human, period. Yeah, no, I, I, they're both bad. They're both bad. It's, they're, they're just two sides of the same coin. How long do you think um, your moment of freedom will last? Well, a lot longer now that uh, Musk is running one of the predominant platforms. Um, if that hadn't happened, I mean, it was just a matter of, like Facebook throttles us so badly now. We don't get any reach on Facebook. We don't drive any traffic on Facebook. It's not, it's not really that valuable to us anymore. Do you talk to them about it? We've tried. We don't. You can't get straight answers. Do from them. they wear complicated glasses too and up talk? <laughs> they, yeah, they just give you like really like canned responses, or they point you to their policies. Or bureaucratic they language. You off. Exactly. That's yeah. kind of my point, though. You're... Or they have people in place. They'll have some kind of like policy person who's there to mollify you and just hear what you have to say and tell you we're we're looking into this for you. And then you know I'm going to run this up the chain, kind of like the people who are there to listen to you to make it seem like they're actually paying attention, but they don't do anything about it. Honestly, wouldn't you rather, and, and I'm not being only half facetious, deal with like the North Korean security apparatus where they're like, say that and we'll kill you. Right. It's right. super straightforward and they're not going to lecture you about trans lives. At least that's honest. At least it's honest. Yeah, and it's, it's less self-righteous. Yeah.